time being lane sader three deep and having to be really scrubbed along royal supremes in a traffic jam down near the rail and in a bunching field magic rocket last of all as they come around the bend 350 to go faux chisel straightened up from penthouse pet third Bergantina. the forgotten one starting to loom quickly over on the outside they're being followed further back royal supreme uh, dropping right out to last is lone sailor the forgotten one had hit the front with 150 to travel from Bergantina. magic rocket runs on it's the forgotten one he goes for home on it patterson magic rocket is cutting it down with every stride the forgotten one in front clings on the forgotten one just from magic rocket Bergantina, two lengths away third royal supreme only just plotted in behind them pet house pet faux sizzle gave up then came dust me off and lone sailor must have got marooned it was a long last he's down there in the winner's enclosure and with him now is co-trainer jason miller Jason, 399 day drought for the Forgotten One, had never won at Ascot before as well, but uh, that was certainly a nice performance. Yeah, it, um, it planned out well and uh, Pato rode it, rode it really well, so yeah, Jeff will be happy. He seemed to just travel into that race nicely at the top of the straight, certainly was the one that had that uh, killer instinct and looked to have the momentum and when moved out that three wide, just showed that nice turn of foot that we probably haven't seen for a little while. Yeah, look, he... Um, it, on paper, it looked a perfect race for him, bit of uh, speed. He's one of them horses you've got to ride quiet, and um, he's only got a short sprint on him. So coming at a corner, he got a nice track up. Everything fell into place. So, yeah, it's really well. Is it frustrating for the stable? We know, of course, a burst on the scene looked to be a very genuine Saturday horse as well. I believe works well at home, but just hasn't been able to bring it to race day. Yeah, look, he, he, works like a, he works like a superstar at home. You can work him with your best horse and he, he'll work better or uh, just as good. So we had high hopes for him early on and he has been very disappointing. So, look, it's good just to get a win on the board. You gelled him by Black Friars. This is the furthest he's won over. Do you continue to step up and just see how he goes in a 2,000 metre race? Or do you think this is about the limit? Uh, look, we have. I think he's been uh, placed over 2,000, so we'll just... Look, 1800 is probably perfect, but uh, 2000, yeah, it all depends. Okay. And well done, mate. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. We'll grab winning jockey now, Ben Patterson. Ben, uh, Jason Miller there giving you full credit for the ride. They said you were nice through the early stages, let it to relax, and then at the top of the straight, able to just cut that corner and really work around the leaders. Yeah, for once, the race has actually run to suit the horse. Um, we just got a nice track in behind him and, and sort of picked our way through the field, come to the corner. and we well, probably a length off the leader coming right onto the bend, and that's where he's got to be. He's no good being right out the back and having to make up four or five lengths because he's not good enough, but the race panned out for him today. He certainly had a lot of momentum going around the corner. He let down quickly as well, which is a nice positive because we haven't seen that for a while with the forgotten one. Yeah, he's, he does have ability to horse, but he's just got to find his, find his own in his head again, I think, and hopefully that will give him a bit of confidence to, be, to bounce back to his best. Were you worried late hearing the footsteps of the other horse coming? Magic Rocket was certainly making up some good ground. I think he was more waiting for the other horse. He still had a little bit left, so I was, I was pretty confident. Always good coming to Ascot when you've only got the one ride to get a win. That's right, mate. Home time. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thank you. There's winning jockey Ben Patterson breaking the 390.